In this video, I'm going to talk about finding missing number in an equation involving properties of operations. So first is we are going to talk about the properties of operations. So properties of operations are rules in math which is associated with mathematical operations. And there are several properties but we're going to talk about the basic, which are four. These are commutative, associative, distributive, and identity. So let's say we have 3 plus 5. Is it still the same if we say 5 plus 3? Yes, they are equal or the same. So it's okay to interchange the numbers as long as it's within the operation plus that is according to commutative property of addition. Now how about if we have 3 times 5? Is it okay if we're going to interchange 5 times 3? Will it be the same answer? Yes, it's the same according to commutative property of multiplication. So this is only true for this operations but not true for minus and division let's say 3 divided by 5 it's not the same as 5 divided by 3 so keep in mind that this is only applicable for these two operations so let's say if we have 9 plus 3 plus 5 equals so let's just copy it and then let's say I'm go if I'm going to add first the 9 and 3 but the right side, I'm going to add first 3 and 5. Will it be the same answer? The answer is yes, according to associative property of addition. So the idea there is it's okay to regroup the numbers, the pair of numbers, as long as it's within the operation addition. So let's try to add 9 plus 3, that's 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. But on the right side, we'll, we'll add first 3 and 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. So it's the same answer. For multiplication, so let's copy it first with the operation multiplication. And then we are going to group this 9 and 3 first. We're going to times it first before times 5. At the right side, it's the 3 and 5 first before times 9. Now, is it the same answer? The answer is yes. It's the same answer according to associative property of multiplication. So you can try it on your own to check if it's really true. But that's according to associative property. Now let's have an, another expression. 9 times um, 3 plus 5, which are enclosed with parentheses. So this is can be written as 9 times 3 plus 9 times 5. So if you have 9 times and enclosed with parentheses there are two numbers added, then you can have 9 times 3 plus 9 times 5. That is according to distributive property. So by the word distribute, so you are distributing what is multiplied. So since it's 9 times and then that sum of 3 and 5 so it will be 9 times 3 plus 9 times 5 so then the 9 times is distributed to 3 and 5 so let's say we have 5 plus 0 is equal to just itself another expression 0 plus 8 is just Eight or itself we have 12 plus 0 is just itself so the point there is if you add a number by 0 the answer is just itself so is that true or is it just true to these examples so it's actually true to any numbers that's according to identity property of addition so any number added to 0 is just itself and although that's obvious but you need a rule that's saying that it is true so that it will be having 
uh, enough bases. Now if we have 1 times 9, then it's 9 or it's just itself. Or 3 times 1 is just 3. 1 times 4 is 4. So any number multiplied by 1 is just itself. Is that true? Is that true to any number? Well, well it's true. Obviously, any number times 1 is just itself, which is identity property of multiplication. So now let's have this equation. We have some missing numbers. And what do you think are inside these uh, green boxes to make these two equal? So this must be 4 times. So as you can see, there is a 6 at the right side. So that means this number at the left must be 6 because it's 4 times 6 and the other side must be 6 times 4 that is according to commutative property of multiplication now another one so let's analyze this we have 7 plus missing plus 9 and then a missing plus 2 plus missing number so as you can see there is 2 at the right side so probably this must be 2 at the left side which is 2 and we have 2 missing at the right side so as you can see there is 7 and 9 at the left so this must be 7 and 9 and this forms which property so as you can see it is moving the grouping symbol from 9 to up to 7 to so this is actually associative property of addition so we have another equation we have a missing plus 5 equals a missing number plus 3 so let's answer first at the left so based on the right there is plus 3 so the number at the left must be also 3 so that is 3 plus 5 also at the at the right it, the missing must be 5 because there is 5 at the left so it must be 5 and as you can see it's 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3 so it's showing the commutative property of addition now let's have another equation we have a missing number times the sum of 4 and 8, which is equal to 6 times the missing plus 6 times another missing number. So, as you can see at the right side, there is 6 in both terms before, uh, separated by plus operation, 6 times, also 6 times. So that means at the left, it must be 6. And we have two missing numbers but we have two numbers also at the left which are 4 and 8 so this must be 4 and 8 and this is distributive property where the 6 times is distributed to 4 and 8 so we have another equation blank times 4 is itself so what will you multiply to make it itself is it 0? 0 times 4 is it 4? So it's actually 1 that is according to identity property of multiplication. Now we have another equation. We have blank times 2 times blank which equal to 8 times blank times 7. So let's answer first at the left. So based on the right there is 8 and 7. So there this is must be having 8 and 7. Now there's missing number at the right which is based on the left there is 2 so this must be also 2. And what property is this? So it is actually regrouping grouping at 8 and 2 it is transferred to 2 and 7 at the right and the operation is time so this is associative property of multiplication. 
now we have 0 plus a number equals 15 so what must be added to 0 to make it 15 it must be itself 15 and the property is identity property of addition thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section